Oh. Drop a beat. This is how. This is how. This, this is, is how, how it starts. starts. Y'all didn't know I have a DJ <laughs> name on the weekends. We drop a different beat. <laughs> All right, it is time for the Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Ooh, Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Yo. Today we won't chew into the mics this time. Is that a better one? <laughs> that was awesome. Whoop, 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 whoop. What's up, fanatics? Welcome to episode 102 of the Funko Funcast, the only official Funko podcast recorded at Funko HQ in Everett, Washington. I'm your host, Sully. This is Hillary. This is Cameron. It's Ashley from work. A storm was brewing on a cold November morning. The clouds rolled in and the sky turned and inky blue. An old fisherman looked up in the sky and signed. Another storm to prepare for. The old fisherman knew this was the kind of day for the ghouls. He checked his fish nets only to find a little gerbil with a terrible foot sore. He took his pocket knife to free the beast. He held the shivering ball of fur in his palm and asked, What be thy name? The gerbil responded, It's me, Dima. <laughs> now fix my foot. Thank you for this beautiful intro by Hillary and Ashley. <laughs> You're welcome. We gave Dima five keywords. Oh. Yes. And he then, had to give uh, us five keywords, and then we created his intro. Mm-hmm. What were the five me. keywords? I, uh, was it, it was knife? gerbil, pocket knife, mm. fishnet, ghoul, foot sore. ghoul oh, and foot sore. <laughs> I still wonder why the fisherman was wearing fishnets. Oh, no, he checked his he checked fishnet. His fishnet. <laughs> Maybe he was wearing like he like he had like fishnets on him, just walking to the sea. Yeah. Like, I mean, mm, that's very possible. It's a new yes. way of type of fishing. Yeah, we don't Ooh, know. Oh, you know what? That's a great judge. idea. Like you just wade out into the water wearing fishnets, and you you fish whatever gets caught in your fishnets. That's the origin story of fishnet stockings. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That's great. <laughs> yeah, little known fact. Huh. Uh-huh. Interesting. So little known. No one knew. No one knew. They know now. Well, there's your intro. <laughs> If this is your first time listening, we record weekly to bring you the latest reveals, listener questions, hints, bad dad jokes, pop culture discussions, and our own original games. Yes, two weeks in a row. Can we record <gasps> daily? Oh. There is a game. Oh. Uh, we? We're going to need more hours in the day if we want to record daily. No, sir. Hmm. And an editing team. I think we could do it. One a day? Yeah. <sighs> the one a day challenge? Cameron, one a day challenge? A daily five minute podcast? Mm-hmm. Like just, just a commercial? Just creams? And nut- knuckle crackers, just intros. Oh, Dima, could, you could just do no. your own intro podcast over no. and over and over again, so no. people could play all your no. shenanigans whenever they want. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> all right, if you'd like to join us, uh, play a little Funko Bingo as you listen along. I saw a comment last week. Somebody's like, "What is up with this bingo thing?" It's oh, just it's a, a thing. Just a fun way to listen to the fun cast, right? It's a way to play along. And then you practice when you play weekly, so that if you make it to one of our lives, you've got a. You've got an advantage on those who don't practice, and you're ready to win yeah. a real prize. That's true. Should IRL. we just should we just do like a meetup event that's just bingo? But then, I we guess these are stampers. Yeah. Oh, there Me you dobbers. go. Mm-hmm. Thanks, flippy floppies. Yep. I, I just think that we should have we should just play bingo. I just want to play bingo. Just just good old fashioned. Yeah. Bingo. It is yeah. On the Riverboat Casino. Well, if anybody wants casino, 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 there it is. Bingo. Casino. <laughs> I really need to get those shirts made. Uh, if you'd like to play Funko Bingo while you listen along, go to ithinkpixels.com slash bingo, or you can get the link on our blog under any of the Funcast uh, posts. Play along just for fun. All right, oh, Funcast money. Blast. Is that pew, first? Pew, pew. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I got a box of you, questions. Pew, 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 pew. You staring me down while you're doing this. I s- I'm sorry. Sometimes I make too much eye contact, apparently. Yeah, that is true. Cast a blink. <laughs> Valid. I got a box of questions sent in from fans. I'm going to randomly pick one, and our first answer will come from... Rigged. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> These are just some rando questions to kind of get to know your uh, fun cast team here. We got this first one for Ashley from Travis Hyatt. Is there a song or TV show which you may be somewhat ashamed to admit you enjoy watching or listening to? If so, what is it? And why is it one of your guilty pleasures? I'm not ashamed to any songs that I listen to. If you look on my Spotify, there are some some jams on there. Oh, so. yes, they are. Yeah, not not ashamed of any songs. Uh a show that I watch that I might be ashamed of. 
I don't know. I mean, I don't think you have any shame for no. Music I don't. Or TV. I mean, yeah. What I watch is what I watch, and it's if you don't like it, then you're probably not watching it with me. <laughs> <laughs> I watch ninety eight percent of things completely alone, so it's fine. <laughs> But Tra- question. Travis said his song is uh, Selena Gomez, Love You Like a Love Song Baby. I can't love he- that song. He can't help but sing and dance around like a fool whenever it comes on. Have you guys heard of the song Lean Like a Cholo? Yeah. yeah. The Lean what song? Like, Lean Like a Cholo. Mm-mm. Lean Like a Cholo, side to side. I, I don't remember. I, um, I only listen to music that has a dance described within the lyrics. Mm. <laughs> so that is my favorite genre. Oh, that's a good Spotify playlist to make. <laughs> yeah. Like the dip, <laughs> the dance instruction playlist. Macarena. When I dip you. Oh, dip. Macarena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, one. The funky, the Humpty Dance. Humpty Dance. Yeah. That's like Electric every wedding. Slide. Mm. Also a wedding. When you lie, jump, jump, jump. Oh yeah, jump around. Jump around. That's House of Pain. <laughs> house of Pain. <laughs> Did you say House of Lies? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I thought it was When You Lies for some House reason. of Lies and Pain. <laughs> All right, Dima, you get question number two. What's up, baby? If you could only eat one food item or meal for an entire Grapes. week. <laughs> <laughs> That's he it. knows what he wants. Never saw that coming. Uh, if After the one week, do you think you could still eat grapes? Baby, I could eat grapes after a decade. Maybe grapes wrapped in like steak. Oh. That'd be good. Like, oh. you, know, you, put, like, you, you inject steak with little grapes. Not raisins. What? What? The optics. It's like yeah. a steak <laughs> bubble tea. <laughs> it sounds like a stomach ache. A, ste- <laughs> that a steak horrible. bubble tea. Oh. oh. oh Would well, you ever eat those grapes wow. that are supposed to taste like cotton candy? Those are delicious. I've never had them. They're those really hard to find. Sound yeah. like them. They really taste like cotton candy? Mm-hmm. They are really hard to find, too. Oh. And they're really expensive. Science. Like magic? Yeah. Sounds like mm-hmm. magic to me. Mm-hmm. It is. I've had that like grapple. The grape Oh, yeah. apple. That is good. Those are freaky. This is so perfect. For me, from Lucas Bronner. Who'd you rather work directly under, Leslie Nope or Ron Swanson, and why? I was just oh. tweeting about this yesterday. Yeah, Did we have before. this question? Yeah. No, because this was going to be a question for our live fun cast, but mm. then That's we didn't do the question. I didn't like, come I've up. read this. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been doing a rewatch of Parks and Rec over the last few weeks, so this is absolutely perfect. My boss would definitely be Ron Swanson, <laughs> uh, because we could go to lunch every day and have a steak and a scotch and do as little work as possible. And talk about life. Talk about woodworking and uh, beard mustache grooming. Mm. What would I love you want how to, he eats a banana. Mm-hmm. What would you want to learn how to build from Ron Swanson? I would just like to learn general woodworking skills. I've always felt like that's something I could do, but have never had a chance to like really a bed. do. Would you want yeah. to do a bed? How to make a bed? Or a boat. I would want to learn to make a chair. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Cameron, what do you want to learn? What do you want to make? Mm. Yeah, I think bed or a boat. Or both. A, a bed, bed boat. boat. A bed yeah. boat. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Got bed that boat. Uh, bed boat. Just head out to sea, take a nap. I sure he knows how to build everything, so. That's right. Oh, I do not. Maybe a little house I've made some poor furniture from Ikea and Target before. <laughs> I know. I'm always a little worried when there are a lot of screws left over. Uh, yeah, I had a yep. bookshelf that leaned almost 90 <laughs> degrees for about four years. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Then you take your books off of it, and it's just like, pop. It was fine. <laughs> the books are what were holding it in place. It made it from Portland to Seattle, so that's all that mattered. <laughs> Hillary. Yep. Got a question from Sean Logan, a.k.a. At Forever Day. At Forever Day. We've built up to that point now. We, yeah. we know all the nicknames. Uh, what do you put on your perfect pizza? Mm-hmm. Also, does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes, pineapple does belong on pizza. Wrong. I think pineapple is really good on pizza with bacon. Not Ooh. Canadian bacon, but just like regular mm. bacon. I'm not a huge fan of Canadian bacon, honestly, so it's kind of hard for me to, <laughs> to like that. Yeah, like I just, it's just too like thick for pizza, I think. It, it needs to be like a thinner meat. Okay, <laughs> I see what you guys are doing. My perfect pizza is a Supreme, though. Ooh, Supreme is good. I like... Um, I like everything on there. I love olives and onions and sausage, and I like pepperoni, too. Are like, the toppings on a Supreme Pizza universal? Is it the same yes. at every single place? I think it's um, always black olives, uh, green pepper, Marshals. red onion, mushroom, and sausage. It's a world-known hmm. world pizza. It's a good mix. Supreme. And we just ate one yesterday. Oh, we just destroyed before. it yesterday. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, we played some board games and we ate pizza. And then just ate pizza. Yeah. Nice. 
Uh, Sean says that his favorite is barbecue sauce with chicken, bacon, Ooh. onions, and pineapples. That is that's a really good one. That's Damn. kind of like when I'm feeling a little spicy. Yeah, I'll yeah. have that a little pizza. Dangerous. Yeah, a little dangerous kind of it's pizza. Kind of, I would Could, call that a Hawaiian pizza, maybe. But, it has but barbecue. there's already a I, Hawaiian pizza. I know, so. yeah. <laughs> but Hawaiian pizza has what? The real it Canadian, has Canadian bacon, bacon pineapple. And, and pineapple. pineapple. Yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like checkmate. <laughs> widely recognized. <laughs> As yeah, the Hawaiian pizza. But would that convince you more to have pineapple on the pizza? I would try this. You would try that? Before I would try most other pizzas with pineapple on it. Have you, yeah. have you ever had pineapple on pizza? Have you I had have it? tried a slice. Where yeah, and a, when? A lot of yeah. people say I, they hate it. I put it in my mouth. I don't think they've actually tried yeah, it. Tried it. I, don't I don't think, think they've, they've tried, tried it. it. It's too sweet for me. I've had pineapple pizza. and Canadian <sighs> Honestly, okay, I get what you're saying where you say, when you say it's too sweet. Because I think it depends on where you get it. Yeah. Because if they use fresh pineapple or if they use canned yeah, pineapple, pineapple, it's totally that's different. Garbage. Pine, yeah, canned that pineapple is nasty. Out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I love I love pineapple. Well, because canned pineapple yeah. is in a sauce. Pizza. Yeah, well, so it is so really think. sweet. You would think it stands to reason. I don't know. I guess I've had only canned pineapple, which is trash. That's trash. Yeah. What would be the worst ingredients in the pizza, though? Worst. The worst ingredient. Olives Anchovies. of any kind. Oh, I love olives. Hmm. Ugh, Mushrooms. Olives are gross. How about like sardines? Like canned mm. tuna. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can't do that. Can't, that oh, baby on there. How about tuna salad? So it's like canned tuna with syrup. mayonnaise. <laughs> with oh, instead of sauce, it's mayonnaise. But you don't put yeah. that on until you've it's cooked white it. It's oh. like white sauce. White syrup. <laughs> oh, why are you? You look sad. Should we just? <laughs> should we try to make some pizzas no. and see like how weird we can get no. them? We're the we're weirdest pizza. Ten minutes in, we've already botched up steak by what? putting what? grapes oh, in all it. Right. I, I guarantee pizza. you've never had can that. I, can <laughs> I also? Right. I'll just say that my dad and I used to play this game called <laughs> "What is the most disgusting donut filling?" <laughs> Ooh, and it feels anything. a lot like this conversation because we always talk about mayonnaise Again, or tuna, tuna salad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get some tuna on there. Mayonnaise is universal Russian food. So. No longer, but you wouldn't eat it in like a donut, like in that. No, you wouldn't give me five minutes. Take a big, that gives me powers. Bite of a jelly donut, but it's not jelly. <laughs> no. It's mayo. It's just a <laughs> ton of mayo. It's mayo, baby. <laughs> it's like it's like it's a thin filled. donut too. Yeah. Yeah. Thin yeah. donut, lots of mayo. It's thin donut walls. It's more of a ball of mayonnaise, <laughs> lightly wrapped in a donut. Thin. It's Donut wall. Thin, thin donuts. Thins, thins donut donuts walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got his pencil out. Thins donuts <laughs> walls. Oh my god. Would you eat deep fried mayonnaise? Uh <laughs> oh, Wait, in yeah. what capacity I'd would it be a like a little bite size one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you guys dive Maybe. into a kiddie pool of mayonnaise? Yes. I'll do it. I'll 100%. Mayonnaise. Yeah, because you know what? Your hair's gonna look beautiful oh, after that. And your skin <laughs> would glow. <laughs> but you stink. With <laughs> my luck, it would cause me to just go bald. <laughs> no, you'd have this like a you would get like a huge, curly, just lustrous mane after Oh, then I would swim in that every day. Wait, who is that uh who is that Roman? Romance novel guy that Fabio? Was like, Fabio. You'd have like Fabio hair. Yeah. Do you want Fabio hair, Sully? Then you yes, because should... then I would cut it down to a normal. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you have to. It has, you have hair, but it would be like, Fabio like hair. Matthews. If you yeah. cut it, it all falls out. Yes. It's a good, it's a good as looking, soon as, as, soon as you right cut there. it, it's gone. Yeah, it falls out. It falls out. Cut it. Forever. So it has to be Fabio. I'd rather have that. You're, yep. Well, all right. Okay. 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 Yep. Then get the mayonnaise You ready. have the Fabio Then curse. I could pull a uh, Jason Momoa and get matching curse. scrunchies for my outfit. Wait, didn't he hit a goose when he was on a roller coaster? Yep, he sure did. Broke oh. his nose. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> Who? Fabio, Fabio was on a roller coaster. Oh, you talking about Momoa, and I was like, "Not that you have my man." You reacted like there was anything you could do about it. <laughs> I'll give him my nose <laughs> and Whoa. my nose. I'm it's sorry, not even Ashley, a but your nose would look so I know, weird. It'd, look really it'd be like this tiny pea nose. <laughs> <laughs> He'd somehow come out better looking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No. You'd be like, and he's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> freak. Freak. All right, final, freak. final question for Cameron from Lauren, aka Flippy Floppies. What inanimate object would be the most annoying if it played loud, upbeat music while being used? I like this. <laughs> this is great. Like your yeah. microphone. <laughs> like your like your car. <laughs> so every like, time you turn it on, instead of an engine noise, it's something else. It's just like, yeah. That would be really annoying. It's like it sounds like a person going <laughs> just mocking you. <laughs> but you know the uh, the Prius, they actually had to add noise to it because it was too quiet and they had to make like this subtle engine noise. What if they had added that instead? Just somebody going like beep beep. <laughs> I always thought they should have that Jetsons noise. I'm turning. Oh my God. I'm turning. I'm turning. Oh. <laughs> going left, going left, Don't worry. Going left. People don't use their signals now. We'd never hear it. 
<laughs> brake lights, brake lights. <laughs> no one would want to drive anymore. <laughs> it's, it's just like, meh, yes. as you come to a stop. Yes. <laughs> it kinda, like a slug. It kind of reminds me of the door from uh, from Hitchhiker's Guide, Guide to the yeah. Galaxy when it's like, <laughs> yeah, when it opens. <laughs> oh, God, if it just <laughs> sighed like that the whole time you were oh, driving Oh, poor door. It. What about uh, stairs if you're walking up them every time and it's like, ouch, 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 ouch. ouch. Walk much? Yes. And the elevator just mocked you the whole time. Not nice. Easy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, Lauren said her keyboard would be the worst because oh, oh, imagine oh, oh, what what it going to make while like, you typed. Oh, fuck letter, 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 but it's, letter, it's letter, playing letter. music, right? Oh, it's playing yeah, like just, high, upbeat music. Well, we just immediately took it to another level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, if my keyboard farted, I'd go insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does that answer your question? <laughs> I would be into it. How deep it makes me want to those. It make me want to type faster. <laughs> like, you only don't. get your work done when no one else is around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the Funcast Blast. If you'd like to send in some questions in the future so you can get yours read and hear our silliness, you can send them to podcast at funko.com. Not a customer service line. Thank you. Wow. Somebody put that in the SoundCloud chat this week. And I responded with, you really get us. (laughs) Unless it's 4 to 5 p.m. Easter time. That's the customer service hour. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Just the one hour on February 29th every year. Yes. All right. Once a year. What you're doing there. Every four years. All right, uh, Fanatic of the Week is up next. Our most recent winner is Andrew of Sugar Hill, Georgia. What up, baby Andrew? Woo! For one year. Sugar Hill gang. <laughs> Sugar Hill oh. gang. Woo! <laughs> is that where they're from? That is a voice uh, I've never yeah. heard of yours. Yeah, I'm full of those voices. Uh, yeah. Andrew got a custom voice. Mm, Look at that. Andrew. Uh, <laughs> we ask people every time that they send in their submissions for Fanatic of the Week to tell us their Funko story. And I like Andrews. He said, around April or May of last year, I had a guy from this pop group I am in offer me the Ready Player One Sixer Chase and Artemis exclusive as a gift since he saw I was collecting the line. It was purely out of the kindness of his heart. Since then, I've helped him acquire uh, a Chase, the Notorious B.I.G. NYCC exclusive, the Nux Ride from SDCC, Which and the Flashpoint sweet. Superman Chase. Wow. Well, he, yeah. he turned it back. Nice. Big time. Uh, he said, this community shows that it pays to invest in people. Oh. And look at that. He was a new collector getting into it, and somebody showed him that generosity. Yeah. That's fueled right. his fire. The big G. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh Congratulations to Andrew. We'll be sending him a prize soon. If you'd like to apply to be a future Fanatic of the Week, just look for any of the recent winners, check out their entry, their photos, scroll to the bottom, click on the link, and apply. And please include links to your photos. Can we get some pro tips on the photos from you guys? We want to see that beautiful face. Make sure it's laid pretty well. Not just your eyebrows. Unless just, it's just, just just the eyebrows. Yeah. Just the eyebrows, just, though. Just, if you're Eugene Levy, brows. you can go just eyebrows. <laughs> what? Only Eugene Levy? And David, his son. Yeah, okay. why not David? <gasps> Who? David. <gasps> David. His son, David. His son, David. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. My son and me. <laughs> David. Maybe there'll be a future episode in that. They'll make that the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> they do with Jetsons for no reason. <laughs> Jetsons just opening. Cause. There's not even really an opening right now. It's just the no. Shit's Creek, like logo and i like that theme. honestly too yeah. yeah or like i like a, a theme song that's just like 10 seconds and yeah. then you're into the show you don't like game of thrones where it's it, like an hour <laughs> when i watch stuff on apple tv i can usually just hold down the button and tell her fast forward a minute or you two can, minutes and you're good just but let game of know. thrones it's like fast forward one hour and then you're just like getting oh, to the very like end of the credits intro. Yeah, and then you accidentally see something you don't want to see because you fast forward through it <gasps> What show? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Curse of Oak Island? They yes. always show spoilers <laughs> yes. for the episode yep. at the beginning. What? At the beginning, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. They spoil Why? their own show. As Cameron says, it's the Paro move. Yeah. yeah, they're like, oh, you sat down to watch another episode. How many seasons are you in on this right now? Uh, which which it's one? It's the fifth, se- um, or, yeah, fifth season. Fifth, fifth, yeah, so you're, you're going into your fifth season, and you're still <laughs> watching the show. They're like, they still haven't on. found anything. Yeah. They found th- some yeah. things. They found some Bobby DPS. Dazzlers. <laughs> Top pocket top finds. Top pocket finds. They found a ruby ones. Yeah. I mean, oh. Coins. Spoilers. They still talk about it. Spoilers. Well, you would find out about it in history. Or I mean, it, it was already in news articles. None. I feel like I'm going to be spoiled in the show if they do find something, because it'll yeah. be on the news. That's why I try to stay up to date. Yeah. Non-ferrous metals. Non-ferrous metals. Non-ferrous metals. I love when he's just like, oh, that's some iron. Do you watch the so show? Sh- no. okay. Sounds like R2-D2. We'll sit over here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 
Ew, okay, David. Guys. While you're over there, Ooh, Cameron will tell you all about show. Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, Would you watch Schitt's Creek mixed with uh, The Curse of Oak Island? The Curse Ooh, of Schitt's Creek. <laughs> <laughs> the Curse that, of Schitt's Creek. That's, that's, there's, there's a spoiler as to what they're going to find in the creek. <laughs> yeah. It's just Roland. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and his sister. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, moving. Don't worry, it's not his sister. I'm gonna <laughs> moving along myself. Are you moving mother. along to yourself? You moved yourself along. I guess that makes Just more moving sense. Moving yourself along here. <laughs> moving All right. On along. Uh, Next up is listener questions. I know we just answered some questions in the Funcast Blast, but those are meant to be some quick questions. These are more long discussion form. Um, big shout <laughs> these out. These are the discussion These questions. are the ones here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See these? They're the discussion This questions. is the bread and butter of podcast yeah. right here. Yeah. Right here. Yes. This, is where it's this, is where, this is where we shine. Yeah. The meat and potatoes. <laughs> Not to amp it up too much, but <laughs> we can't live up to <laughs> this get now. some water for this. <laughs> All right, we got emails from a bunch of you going back several weeks because uh, we were catching up on some things. So big shout out. Thank you to Julie Bove, Manuel, a.k.a. Night Bodega, Connor Bass, Jason Gutierrez, Apollo 17. Apparently, NASA has emailed in. Dima? Dima? I'll Any love comments? It. I'm, yeah. I'm into it. Let's Great. go. Melissa. Wait, wait, have you seen the new uh, space exploration stuff happening? Oh, the the uh, future man SpaceX flight. Yeah, they just they, they just sent up a test yeah. rocket with a dummy that was in there. Sweet, named Ripley. Ripley. Yes, mm. that's pretty good. I thought of you as soon as I read that, sir. Oh, you did. Dima sure, thought of sure. himself too when he read that. Yeah. <laughs> Dima likes you did this. He just Dima likes this. Me. Good job, Dima. Yeah, Dima, yeah, I did. Dima, Dima likes this. I contribute to this. <laughs> Retweet. We also, we also got emails from Melissa Huffman, Ryan Falgowski, Lucas Bronner, Benjamin Sager, Robert Vadas, Clint Crockett, David Vu, Sean Logan, aka Everfreddy, Chris, who's Flip Toys, Garrett Zesha. Because I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm going to mess it up anyway. Josh Lopez and Yasmin. First question up gets the first answer from Rigged. What's up, baby? Right. Dima. I can see Didn't my name all there. What do you want? From Lucas Bronner. If you could design a pop culture mashup for the person to your right, hi. What hi. would it be? Uh, I was not really clear on the question. Well, uh, <laughs> Lucas gave us an example. I was saying hello and did not hear the question. <laughs> Lucas gave an example. He said for his wife, who was sitting to his right, that she's a big Friends fanatic, so it would have to be a dorky, smug face animated with a speech bubble saying, how you doing? Okay. I like that. So, to my <laughs> right. Hold on, hold on. I thought it was oh. like you combine, just make a mashup. That's what I thought, too. For somebody not like make a... Do some? Are we doing something? We're not doing anything. I'm Imagine do it as a like if you were making a mashup pop for them. That's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. Oh, this, this could have been a pop form just with a word cloud for that's sure. Something we typically a do, word cloud a word on cloud? a pop. Word hmm? oh, cloud. Crap! I totally messed this up because that's not what I thought it would be. Once again, this is our bread and butter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so we tried. Hours of work. Which the most? <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, well, I was really excited for the answer, but all right. Yeah. I, well, do you want to do the answer to the question you thought you were answering? Well, yeah, I, yeah. I just. That's fine. I thought that if we want to see a person all right to be in any of the culture, event, media, whatever. So I would, I want to see Ashley in a Big Brother type of a show on MTV. Oh, that's where, that would be awesome. That's that that would we were, be so I don't know if I brought this up to you, but Jax and I were talking about doing The Amazing Race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd watch that. <laughs> what, what you have to deal with we other people. We would just be roasting you one would another be, the you whole would time. You bleeped so many times. I would love to see you work with other people, when, especially like not bright people. <laughs> Oh, we Dude. would be roasting other teams. <laughs> like, they'd have their little patient. confessionals, and every time it just cut to you two rolling your eyes, like, oh. Pretty much. So when they're casting, we might need you for a video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Videos, you say? Videos, you say. I know how to operate a camera. Oh. <laughs> oh. A daguerreo type. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Get the magnesium mm -hmm. flying. Yeah. Did, did you want to try the mashup pop See, idea? We, a mashup we, pop? Any pop? What has big shoes and strong head? Mm, sounds like a riddle. Sounds fake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's the punchline? I'll have the. I, I don't know. How much can you do? <laughs> a punchline. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll put you. Uh, maybe well, how about that color leader right there? I'm looking at it. What? The color le leader. 
Cuddle Cuddle team team leader. Leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. About, I'm still confused. Yeah. No, yeah, but what's the mashup? Dima with? has picked Cuddle Team Leader <laughs> for you. Wait, so is this <laughs> okay. actually Why mashed up with Cuddle Team what Leader? What is wrong? I still don't understand okay. the question. Cool. Or is it two pop culture really things cuddle, mashed up? Okay. No, I think I think it's two pop culture things separate. Yeah, oh, I, okay. I'm so confused by the question. So I'm going to say Cuddle Pop Leader and Big Brother type of a show. So there's right, my like answer. It. Okay. They so it's fight. Ashley dressed up in the Cuddle Team Leader outfit <laughs> on <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> sure. Okay, okay. And everyone else is also okay. dressed up like in it. Fortnite okay. gear. Yeah, perfect. Okay. perfect. They have to yeah. hit each other with giant inflatable axes. Roast them all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Are you, are you watch satisfied that with that answer, I do. Ashley? I do. What? Oh. Are you satisfied with this? Yeah, I'm good. Fortnite Brother. Right, put me on. Hillary, are you satisfied? I am very satisfied with that. Perfect. I can go to sleep. Everyone would watch that. Let's yeah, be I honest. would watch it. Ashley, you want to take a stab at this <laughs> with Cameron? Uh, I, my mashup was Roast Scott me. Pilgrim <laughs> with Pikachu, and he would be talking in Pikachu's voice, but about Scott Pilgrim's girlfriend. Ooh. Girlfriends. Are you going to be a positive narration or negative narration? Like, she has big... Whoa. <laughs> feet, 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 feet. I mean, have, <laughs> Scotty P is a little shallow, so uh, Scotty Pikachu. Yeah, <gasps> Scotty Pikachu. I'll is see. A now that's shallow. good. Scotty, which is Pikachu. Zappa, you that's know? good. So, that's that's rich. That's it. I feel like I feel like it'd kind of be like a Seinfeld character. Like he would think of any reason to break up with any girl. Oh, okay. Like, okay. S- Scott Pilgrim as Pikachu. As Pikachu. Yes. Yeah. But with a Pikachu. Jerry Seinfeld. Demeanor. Like Would you enters the room and everyone like <laughs> cheers like yeah. Kramer, <laughs> basically. So yeah, are you satisfied with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hillary I'm judge. Okay. But Hillary, satisfied? I'm satisfied with that answer. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> so the judge. I. I, I, I like well, her. Well. <laughs> we don't know the, yet. You might. So uh, I feel like I have wildly misunderstood this. <laughs> because I thought it was just. A, I just thought it was a mashup for the person to your right and. By my calculations, Hillary is to my right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so I would say a Sabrina the Teenage Witch Ooh. Cuphead mashup. Oh, I like Ooh, that. That's cool. New I like season that. in April. Sabrina New the Teenage season. Cuphead. Yeah. That's the Chilling Adventures. Sabrina uh, the Teenage Cuphead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Chilling Adventures well, of she, Sabrina she, the Teenage Cuphead. She does yeah. have to fight the devil. Yeah. That's true. Right? That's true. Actually, it's pretty It writes itself. That's great. Good. I like that. Hillary? I. Do you, uh, are you happy with it? I approve. But I'm as satisfied but as, as well. the judge, are you I'm satisfied? I'm satisfied as judge. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I object. Do, do I have to no. sign off on <laughs> no, no, no. order? Order. <laughs> do I have to sign off on my own? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So Sully is to my right, and so I thought of a mashup of Sully and a Mogwai, where uh, that Sully Mogwai combo travels to people's dreams and asks them to feed him after midnight. <laughs> Ooh. I like this. So, wow. so this kind of nightmares, though, isn't it? In yeah. between sizes, but in the blue and purple. Yeah. But if you get them wet, if you get if you drop water on them, yep. there's going to be multiple sullies. And he also <gasps> wants to be fed after midnight. But those that come out are immediately his grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And <laughs> as judge, I approve of this decision. <laughs> okay. That was perfect, quick. Perfect. It's quicker when yeah. she is the judge of her own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think All we right. need to reelect this system. Dima, uh, it's working pretty well. What up, to my right, I've had some time to flesh this out a little bit while you guys were talking. baby? I, I well, know you guys are talking. I totally up, ignored us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hear you all tomorrow. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. I I know your affinity for space exploration. I do because you just like spoke of it. <laughs> as well, I, I knew this before. As well as horror films. My devil. So what I would like to see is a mashup. Uh, it would be a show or possibly a movie uh, it, through the eyes of the alien, the xenomorph, Ooh. as a space explorer. Ooh. From their planet, so oh. they're just they're just NASA, and they're just going to check things out. But these stupid aliens that they come up against keep <laughs> killing them all. I like it. Yeah, I'm into it. That's what it is. Like an astronaut, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, they actually originally had like astronaut gear on, but they had mm. to shed that over time. Just... and they're like, we're not eating you. We're taking samples. Yeah. What, would that like a little <laughs> mouthpiece have a little like uh, a, little a beaker, awesome, like a like a little helmet? <laughs> a little <coat>? helmet, yeah. <laughs> like the little mouth comes out all and it's it, holding a beaker. All it ever oh, wanted wow, to do is so give fun. hugs, I like it. <laughs> hugs and kisses. I'm into it across the universe. <laughs> I think I it's think just a know. side effect that their blood is acid. It's not their fault. Yeah, it's not a fault. It's they're misunderstood. Totally. Yeah, they're totally misunderstood. misunderstood. Maybe we're just weak. <laughs> Mrs. Understood. Mr. and Mrs. Understood. <laughs> Is there a Mr. Understood? <laughs> oh. Swipe left. Mm, swipe up. Ooh. 
Swipe this, diagonal. We've gone out there. Swipe diagonal. All right. Diagonal swipe. Next question. Swipe diagonal. Swipe Rigged. diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep. That rig. Yep. I don't rig, know about rigged, that. Well, 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 what do rigged. you know? It's for me. It's from Julie Bove, the question, who says, what for those with pets, if they could talk, what would their personality be like? What celebrity would sound most like your pet? Oh, this is going to be interesting because <laughs> Dima and I have the same pet. I do. But different so voices. And you think because I was relying on Hillary. Oh, well, oh. I want to know what your choice is. <laughs> no, no, you know what we should do? You're going to be next. We yeah. should have Hillary leave the room yes. while you answer. Yes. What? Okay. Yeah. I, come I can do that. Spot. Yeah. And then, and then she'll come back in, and that, and then we'll see how close y'all were. Damn, you throw me out. <laughs> I'll do mine first. Okay. Um, <laughs> we don't, we don't have any pets at the house right now, but we did have this uh, cat Polly who had an extra thumb. She was the sweetest cat. She would not leave my side or my wife's side if one of us were at home. So when I worked from home for a long time, every morning she would come strolling in and sit below my chair while I worked. I called her my coworker, but she was all she was never in a hurry for anything. So I always thought she'd have like a "Hi, hey, Chris," <laughs> as she came in the room and like I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> That's how I always heard her. And then, oh, if if a celebrity did her voice, who talks like that? I don't. I don't have an example. Um, it sounds like maybe, Eeyore. Yeah, Eeyore. Oh yeah, whoever voices Eeyore, that'd yeah. be good. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. All right, Dima's okay. up. So you gonna Do leave the room leave? for a hot second? Yeah, we're gonna hear don't how close you. they are. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll miss you. All right, count Aww. count to sixty and come back. Sixty. What? That's, That's long. You you gotta go. And go. That's gonna be really awkward because I don't know. Uh, well, I'm thinking about one of the ladies. From The Simpsons, one of the smoker ladies. <laughs> oh, <what>? For your <laughs> what? Your cat? For my cat, yeah. The, the sisters? Really yeah. yeah. Let's hear it. What do they sound like? <laughs> <laughs> so it's all incoherent, but it's. Incoherent. Does she oh always have a cigarette before. in her mouth? What's, oh, well, she always. Like, she smoked. Lips. <laughs> yeah, it's like old piece of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Just stuck in there. Mm, the best pizza mm. topping. Yeah, did I tell you, I, did mm. I tell the story how she was sitting on me once on, on my laps and I smelled poop <laughs> and I didn't know where it was coming from? And then she jumped off she like, and she ran off and there was like a huge dicker just stuck her thigh. <laughs> did you had, had you done something to her prior? Ah, uh, pet ownership. <laughs> she sounds beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous, long hair cat. All right. <laughs> just. That's a Perfect. power move. Yeah, that's a yeah. Oh. Yeah. man. When yeah. Hillary comes like back, we'll see how. Level of, uh, what is <laughs> You're good. You're good. She's back. All right. <laughs> that's like a little different. <laughs> now I'm going to have to call, right? Sweet Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What happened? Oh. You'll find that's out what I'm used to doing. That's not what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was. I was going to pretend the time like with my friends. I didn't hear that. I'm like, hey, buddy, come oh over. Oh, my God. Woo! <laughs> wow. I Are you going to have to repeat it and then delete it again? No, no, we're good. Repeat and delete, I, I, baby. I repeat, can edit this. Delete. <laughs> repeat, <laughs> repeat, delete. Why are you, what, right, what are you editing? Ashley, what you got? Um, okay, so I have two dogs right now. Quincy is almost seven, and we really call him Bean most of the time because he's bean. shaped like a bean. Um, but he's really lazy, <laughs> so he would kind of be like Pooh Bear, like asking when food is happening. And he has this really deep voice, so I think Barry White <laughs> would um, music that plays every voice time. him. And then awesome. Fergus, I'm not really sure, because he's 10 months, like really crazy, so just someone with a lot of energy. I'm not quite sure on the voice yet, but he screams at me all the time. So just someone who's really loud and just like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who that would be, but my previous pug, Oscar, was definitely the Richard Simmons of pugs. <laughs> <laughs> he was always really jazzy, always smiling, and like always like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's those are my two. Nice. <laughs> I like that. I also don't have a pet, but um, my uh, wife's parents have a dog named Maggie, who is 10 years old, and a King Charlier's, King Cavalier Charles Spaniel, yep. little little guy. Um, and she screams a lot, like she, <laughs> like That's when like, you come into the room. And she's deaf now, so you surprise her a lot. But she, when you walk in the room, she'll like see you and just go like, ah, "You're here!" Like run over to you, jump all over you and stuff. So I feel like because she's kind of high energy when she wants to be, she could be kind of like a Jenny Slate character. Oh, nice! And be like, mm, "I don't think I'm going to do that, but I am going to jump all over you." Nice. Pet me, please. Pet, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Hillary. All right, um, my. Cat is a girl, but I picked Louis Anderson. (laughs) (laughs) That's not that far. (laughs) (laughs) Like, really? (laughs) What did you pick, Dima? 
Uh, what did I pick? He said one of the one of the sisters, Marge's sisters from The Simpsons, like a heavy oh my smoker. Gosh. Yeah, because our cat's just like, why don't I have any food? <laughs> <laughs> That's the voice we have. How perfect would have been if she came back in and did that exact like, voice? Yeah, it's probably the other aunt. <laughs> 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 Those are a different personality. Just depends on the day. They're both the same. <laughs> nice. Good question. Uh, Julie Bove said, for me, my cat Cookie would have both the personality and voice of the hormone monstrous from Big Mouth, <laughs> yeah. voiced by Maya Rudolph. I wish her my cat, cat is adorable, Oh, my God. Too. Her cat my is little sick. Yeah. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> my her little ravioli. Her Instagram. I totally see her cat having that voice. Totally. totally. Yeah. yeah. I love the I love the face on that cat. Just the <laughs> great expression. Are you going to go take face. a bubble bath? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> bubble bath. Bubble <laughs> bath. <laughs> All right, a little baby Bunsen burner. <laughs> Anything with a B in it, just throw it in there. Sully, have you watched Big Mouth yet? I'm, I still have only <gasps> seen like the first three, four episodes. I keep meaning to go back. Get it. Watch get it on the plane. Get in there. Get sidetracked. Yeah, watch it on the plane. The, the just Valentine's like Day wherever. episode was probably oh, my favorite. So good. It was so good. Mm-hmm. It's probably a top five holiday special oh, of yeah. all time. It's like a top pocket find. Yeah. <gasps> A Bobby Dazzler? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a Robert Dazzler. Mm. All right. That was our questions for the week. Don't forget to email yours into podcast at Funko.com. You might get it read on a future episode. Whoa. Uh, next up is the Women of Power segment, uh, which we're getting real close to Captain Marvel. be out in theaters this weekend. And on Friday, it's actually International Women's Day. So we're, uh, we've are we been doing this segment for a little while. We're going to do uh, this. Is this our final round or we do it, continue to do we it? We should just do like... For the I rest mean, of March? Yeah, let's just yeah, do it for like the rest of the time we do this podcast. Yeah. Oh, but this an... week, with the reveal All right, of... that sounds good. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm totally down. Yeah, we're good. No, All right, right. awesome. Uh, this week, since we are so close to the film, we are going to focus on MCU characters. So we're going to start Marvel with... Cinematic. Rigged. I did universe. not pick any Marvel Cinematic Universe characters. No one told I, you? I did Marvel. Mm, I did Marvel. Oh, that's Marvel Publishing. That'll yeah. work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe God. you're familiar. I'm so, sorry. Should get typewriter, <laughs> sir. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I went sir? into the, the mode. All right. The mode. Okay. There he is. <sighs> Curtains up. Spotlight. <laughs> For this, I need absolute silence. <laughs> okay. Silence. 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 Thank you. Silence. Thank you. This silence. is exactly silence. 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 Okay, that's <laughs> absolute. <laughs> <laughs> that was like several more voices than I thought. Okay. Voices, 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 voices. voices. Silence, silence, silence. So silence, silence. for my woman of power this week, <laughs> uh, she's a teenage American Muslim from New Jersey, born in the U.S. and part of the post 9-11 generation. She is part of a series that explores her conflicts with enemies, but also balances responsibilities around home and religion. She was um, kind of introduced as a way to normalize the Muslim experience in America. Um, She actually takes her name from Carol Danvers in the storyline that she's in and is even featured in an issue where she witnesses Carol Carol, it sounds weird. Sounds formal for me right. to call her Carol. <laughs> um, Close friends. Uh, yeah, she. So she actually sees Captain Marvel saving civilians from a, a um, an enemy. Like she's just briefly pictured in the background of a panel. So kind of a fun little scavenger hunt oh. there for you. She's a polymorph, uh, which means she can change the shape of her body at will. Nice. Um, the me series. Too. Actually, <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I, I'll, I'll just start over. Okay. No. <laughs> this, this series has won numerous accolades from around the world and was the best-selling graphic novel in October 2014. Nice. And in January 2015, street artists began covering hateful ads with uh, imagery of this hero. Awesome. And in October 2016, she appeared on the cover of The Village Voice in an homage to J. Howard Miller's We Can Do It poster it, as a way to highlight the diversity in comics and the creators of comics and fans. So my woman of power this week is Miss Marvel, specifically Kamala Khan. Come on, oh, that's pretty Bania. good. I like it. I like how the uh, um, would you call them activists covering the uh, they called them like street artists, but I think it was artists. because it was like hateful um, ads about particular Whatever, groups of yeah. people, and then instead of just covering it, they actually put something that's over it, cool. and it's this teenager 
character who's a teenager in New Jersey. And um, Dan, it's actually interesting because Dan Slott, the the writer for the Amazing Super or the Amazing Spider Man, excuse me, actually said that she was the closest character he's read to Peter Parker in that she has a ton of responsibility. She has a, a responsibility to her family and to her community. And nice. yeah, it's I'll, really cool. I'm into it. Yeah. Interesting. Like Miss Marvel. What, what direction are we going? Counterclockwise, clockwise? You're up. Um, <laughs> well, we were going the other way, which we don't normally we'll, do. We'll keep it loose here. All right. Okay. My woman of power is 5'11", which was taller than I thought. Born I never in go for the height. <laughs> Whoa. How did you then know the height? Stats? I don't know. That's what I found online. How much did you I couldn't find a lot of information. Um, she's <laughs> a U.S. Air Force fighter pilot, has superhuman strength, energy projection and flight. She got her superpowers from um, a accident where her DNA was fused with a military unit. Um, she's affiliated with the Avengers and Alpha Flight. This is Captain Marvel, AKA Carol Danvers. And I don't know movie? much about her other you than- You spoiled the movie? AKA. <laughs> I, I spoiled the whole movie, um, which is in theaters. It's Ashley's movie it's to spoil. my That's movie. Um, on the 8th, go buy the Pops. They're in stores now. And uh, I don't know. I'm really excited for this movie. Same. Same. Did you get your tickets already? Not yet. Did you? Uh, I need to. I, yeah, me too. I don't know when I'm going to go. But <sighs> Same. Probably have to go alone. It's fine. What? <clears throat> oh, I'm so Let sorry. Let me through uh, my throat. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, she is a result of a top secret government breeding program intended to develop as a secret weapon. She was the only test subject to survive the experiments. But she was freed by her biological mother and grew up in a church of sacred heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She eventually left the church to become a mercenary. Her superpowers, telekinetic ability to control the probability in her favor, thus causing her to have good luck and opponents to have bad luck. <gasps> this ability is controlled subconsciously and triggered when she is in a stressful situation. And her name is Domino. Oh. Ooh, nice. She's pretty sweet. She's great. As yeah. portrayed in Deadpool 2. And that Domino in that? Yeah, for sure. I, I blocked I out when yeah. I was watching that. They're like, yeah, uh, they're like, what do they say about her? They're like, because uh, good Deadpool luck keeps is not being a, like, oh, that's not a real yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. like, all right. <laughs> but then she does all these amazing things. It's <laughs> just yeah. pretty sweet. All right, mine. I'm going to start mine off with a quote. Uh, they say everyone's born a hero, but if you let it, life will push you over the line until you're the villain. Problem is, Ooh. absolutely, you don't always know that you've crossed that line. Maybe it's enough that the world thinks I'm a hero. Maybe if I work long and hard, maybe I can fool myself. Whoa. She's a private investigator from NYC. After becoming orphaned at a young age, she was taken in by Dorothy Walker and developed a deep friendship bond with her adoptive sister, Trish. Shortly after being adopted, she discovered she possessed superhuman abilities due to the fatal car crash that took the lives of her parents and eventually decided to pursue a career as a superhero. However, a fateful <laughs> encounter with Kilgrave, a vicious man with mind-controlling powers, derailed her superhero career, and she spent a torturous tenure under Kilgrave's spell before finally breaking free of his control. The experience left Jones suffering. Oh, I said the name. <gasps> left Jones uh, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, prompting her to hang up her secret identity and open her own detective agency. Uh, Jessica Jones is portrayed by Kristen Ritter. She's my favorite MCU woman of power. And uh, unfortunately, most of those shows were canceled on Netflix. But we are getting one more <laughs> season of Jessica Jones. It'll be the final one of the Netflix Marvel. Oh, really? Shows. Yeah, I didn't know well, that. I just read about it. It was confirmed on February 18th, and that's going to be well, it. The stats on <laughs> yeah. Well, I was really time, concerned though? because yeah, I had read time? different things. So yeah. I finally found a couple articles that really said it. And then everybody's thinking that maybe all those shows are going to Disney Plus, but there's some sort of weird like two-year deal on the contract where no one else can make these shows oh. after Marvel after Netflix. So even if it happens, it's going to be a while. Is it weird that when you were reading the quote, I was imagining a tiny little cape growing behind you? <laughs> No, it's just, uh, <laughs> just that's awesome. I stood up a little taller. Yeah, it's just, you sound you a little taller. Your <laughs> voice dropped a little bit more. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, come. All right, so my woman of power this week is actually a girl of power. So How dare you? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So she's nine years old. She's an inhuman. Wow. She's an inventor, a student, an engineer, and a vigilante. I like it. <laughs> so supportive. Right? <laughs> Go, Hillary. Her superpower is her extreme intellect. Ooh. She likes to build things. 
Her name is Lunella Lafayette, a.k.a. Nella, a.k.a. that crazy fourth grader, nice. also known as Moon Girl. Moon Girl. And she has a partner named Devil Dinosaur. Devil Dinosaur? Yeah, she has a giant dinosaur partner that she has a special telekinetic connection with. That just proves I knew nothing about Moon Girl. Oh, yeah. Moon Girl and Del- Devil Dinosaur is a really great comic series. I started huh. wa- I started reading it um, last year, I think, when it came out. And it's just, I think that it's really powerful, especially for little girls who are interested in getting into STEM, especially mm. uh, women of color. And I think that it's, it's just a really awesome and fun series. And there's a giant dinosaur, so how can you not love that? But it's kind of cool because it's, she's wildly smart and her parents just don't really understand and so parents just don't understand they just they don't know. understand and so she's just she like covers up her experiments and <laughs> she's like yeah i'm doing homework and she just like flies out of her room and starts like doing crazy <laughs> experiments she developed a technology to or a, something to f- uh discover cree technology and she's yeah oh, that's she's cool. very smart I would little girl definitely watch the show yeah it Sounds would be fun. an awesome show huh. All right, that was our Women of Power segment for the week. It's a powerful uh, week. It's a powerful very powerful week. week. Uh, again, International Women's Day is this Friday, so is the release of Captain Marvel. So share your photos of your Women of Power or your Funko Women of Power and use the hashtag Funko Women of Power. Put it out there. Come on, man. Let's do it. All right, next up, we yeah. get some topics yeah. for you. Things going on in and around Funko. Jenny Tops. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny <laughs> Tops. <laughs> totally. I was like, Where does that come Who? from? <laughs> <laughs> the, the segment is now called Jenny Tops, as in general oh topics. <laughs> That's great. Uh, first up, we had a big reveal today. A, a reveal, new, you say? All new Funko app coming your way. I think we needed a new app. Uh, as as someone pointed out on Facebook, it's time to update your app, and uh, so we, we are. are. <laughs> and we can't say anything about it yet. But all I, uh, maybe y'all have some opinions on this as well. I will say, there's no reason to speculate or freak out or panic or no. come up with your own conjecture, your ideas of what you think is going to happen. Because we're going to tell you here in good time. Yes. So don't take action yet. Just just chill. Chill. Just sh- it's going to be awesome. Sh- there is a blog post you can go read. Or a couple yeah. of uh, pieces uh, of insight. Yeah, it'll only take like forty seconds. It's like two yeah. paragraphs. It's no secret. Yeah, yeah, you can just yeah. read it. It's Tells for you. anybody to read. Mm-hmm. Anyone. Tells no you a couple things. We'll Log give on. you the scoop. You go to funko.com slash blog. It's slash there. Scoop. Slash don't scoop. Tell anyone it's a secret. It's a secret. It's yeah. A secret. Secret. Now there's good stuff coming your way, and uh, it, it won't be too much longer, and you'll get to find out all about it. So just. Just hold up a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. Can we like toss you into a rowdy crowd so you can calm them down, like at a concert or something, and you can tell them to calm down? Uh, no, you get. You might have been able to see that a couple years ago at yeah. New York Comic Con yeah. uh, when oh. I was out there on on the corner, as Holding I kept saying. Floor. And you want to toss Sully? Well, how many oh. people are we gonna need to? Y- yeah, it's gonna take a few. Him. There's order, that moment order. when the crowd turns. And you're like, oh, this got away from me. Yep. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> so new app. Be on the lookout. Uh, also, coming up very, very soon, we got one, one more recording. One and more recording. A blink of the eye. And then, and then we're just there. The just one more sleep. Where? That's what if I was you time it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Emerald City Comic Con. Whoa. Really? It's almost here. Yep. Oh you didn't know it was next week? Don't you know? No. It was. Is it next week? Yeah. Yeah. The 13th is when we have our party oh here at HQ. Sorry you had to find out this. <laughs> oh, God. The, pe- the uh, show is 14, 15, 16, 17th. On the yeah. 15th, we've got our live Funko Funcast. Oh, do we? In, nice. uh, in the Star Wars droid room, TCC L3 R3. Nice. Just rolls right off been, the tongue. Sir? Working, sleeping, right. <laughs> watching TV, Game of Thrones. You know what it is? <laughs> it's the time change coming up this weekend that threw oh, them off. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, spring yeah. forward. Yikes. Yikes. Two hours. Who cares? Dibbly doo. Spring forward. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like something Demo would say. Not into it. <laughs> no. I'm not a fan either. We're not farmers. Pass. There's no need for this anymore. Yeah, there's not. All it does Shat. is prompt a bunch of social posts on the next day about how everybody feels weird uh, and it lasts yeah. for like three or four days. Have you ever been to like a farming town and the the timing is really weird? No. Nope. Because they have like farm time. Hmm. There's yeah, a it's city like in Indiana called Goshen, Sounds and it's fake. like four hour difference from Chicago, even though it's what? like right, yeah. 
It's some what? weird farming time. Like they have diff- like their hours are totally There's been different. There's no TV show on this or <laughs> right? Sounds also, like you need to do it. Also show that city this. is like 90% Amish. I heard they have glowing eyes. No, that's not true. And feet full of <laughs> roosters. Yeah, what if there was Rooster someone who lived feet. just outside this city and convinced himself they were time traveling every time they went into the city? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Like the village. Whoa, well, it was yeah. I think there's something to do with like I don't know, the hours that for farming i don't i don't get it but Which, i just know it was light outside and it was 9 p.m and oh. it felt very weird that was the entire purpose of this whole time change thing in the first place wasn't it i thought so but yeah, it was just like, for fun it's just yeah. special for them the this is just an elaborate joke to mess with us all for decades yeah. and force us to change our clocks or if you're like me you just leave the car clock the way it is and remember and that there's a one hour back. difference yeah. it's from it's from big clock you know like big brother yeah yeah big clock Mm-hmm. Timex. <laughs> it's all Timex's fault. My new TV show. <laughs> Big, Big Clock. clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're dressed up as a Fortnite character? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> all right, so Emerald City Comic Con, we've got our panel on that Friday, March 15th, 5.15 p.m. in TCC L3 R3. Wow. Get there a little early. Which droid is that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> your favorite one. I don't know if they clear the rooms at this one. So I don't know if you mm. can come in and hang out in the panel before and just hold your seat, or you need to form a line before. Last year there was a line, so yeah. I can only assume they clear the panels. I think they clear. Yeah. Or whatever, the panel before us, they'll the probably be like, flush. whatever. You yeah. Know? Do you know who's before us? I do, do not you, know. Do you know the programming? No, I know there was someone after us originally, <laughs> and then and then they they decided not to do it, and that worked out because I had asked for extra time, and they're like, well, this is perfect. Oh, great. Yeah. So we get an hour and a half on this one. <gasps> Mm. What? Which means Ooh. let's get weird. Yep. Sully's Riverboat Casino. Fa show. And then also on <laughs> Saturday at 1.15 on the sci-fi stage, there will be a Funko panel of sorts. Not going to tell you what it's about yet. Mm. We're not telling people yet, right? Woo! Cameron's going to drop his new hot album. That's right. Drop yeah. it like it's hot. It's going to be a whole DJ segment That's by Cameron. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for all coming out to this panel now. May I start my show? <laughs> <laughs> when does the bass drop? <laughs> Pull out some spoons. You need that mm, DJ Freddy outfit. Clacking them around. Oh, what? DJ Manta? <sighs> DJ Manta. can't believe we got him. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> can we get? Can we secure <laughs> DJ Manta? Might, you might know DJ. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to reveal what that panel's about in advance, so just show up and find out. Right? Mm. Be mm-hmm. there or be square. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's not It's not like a big secret or anything, but it's just like a general Funko panel. We'll yeah. be talking about a yeah. couple of cool things, and come on down. Yeah, we had one last year, right? We did? We did. Yeah, we did. This will be a very different panel than last year. It's a little bit more structured. Feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Am I wrong? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, let's talk some prizes. Last week on episode 101, uh, we gave away, or we promised a Funko prize pack and a social media Freddy, and I got some winners. Over on Twitter, our winner is Mark Z, who Mark is Z. at Soda Pop Jerk. Soda Pop Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Z. <laughs> Never mind, your prize is just Dima reading off your name finally. No, no. And then we Mark promised Zark. over on SoundCloud, oh. a social media Freddy Funko Pop and a Funcast shirt. I got two winners. <laughs> fat, drunk, and happy 3LB. Three-pound baby. <laughs> oh, fat, <laughs> drunk, and happy wow. two-pound baby. <laughs> Three is LB. one of our winners. And the other is Alan Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> two very different names. <laughs> yep. <Yes>. But potentially <laughs> the same guy. Could be. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to. Nice work, judge. Alan slash fat, drunk, and happy 3LB. <laughs> Thank you for commenting, guys. So this week, uh, similar drill as always, episode 102, we're going to put together a Social Media Freddy prize pack. So it'll be the Social Freddy plus some other goodies. Plus, I put (gasps) ECC exclusive. I think it'll just be a surprise as to what's in there. Whoa. Hmm. People want to win those those exclusives. Could it be uh, a Freddy? Sully's exhale. It's a breath in the box. <laughs> He's saying it's a breath in the box. He's going, Congratulations. <laughs> oh my gosh, when you open it, it says that. So yeah. creepy. Uh. <laughs> so minty. It smells a bit of meat. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So it's, like, a, it's like a, a nice pink. hickory, <laughs> a smoked flavor. A smoky flavor. It's a smoked just, pop. It's just a go. smoke that comes out that says that. Yeah. Not a fan. Oh, like that. Like yeah. in a cartoon. You know, uh, like a smoky, breathy. Thing um, coming out. Meaty smoke breath. Meaty smoke breath. 
It's like a text message. Fat, drunk, and happy. Three a text message? Yeah, it's like an old school text message. Yeah, that's how they used to send texts back in the day, yeah. Ashley. Whoa. They used you to breathe into a box and then mail it somewhere. Under a rock. Well. So to enter to win this very interesting <laughs> prize pack, <laughs> all you have podcast. to do is uh, share the Funcast to Twitter. And to do that, just uh, wherever you're listening, grab the old link, drop it into Twitter, along with the hashtag Funko Funcast. That's F-U-N-K. F-U-N-K-A-S-T, along with a reason why other people should listen. The idea is that you're going to spread it and tell your friends to come listen to the Funcast. Listen to the Funcast. So make sure it's positive, happy, and includes that hashtag. Don't block Ashley out. I sometimes I need to. Yeah, it's for my right. own safety. I didn't even have cold brew today. I don't know Ashley. Should we get some after this? No. <laughs> Keep my, this party my going. Heart can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> the ticker's going out. <laughs> my heart. Mart. Mart. Mart can't take it. Mert. That sounds Mert southern. Can't take it. <laughs> it definitely Mert. sounds southern. <laughs> yep. Mart. Uh, Mart hurt. <laughs> Mart hurt. <laughs> <laughs> on yes. SoundCloud, still, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all good. On SoundCloud, you can leave a comment for a chance to win a uh, Social Media Freddy and a Funcast shirt. You can leave as many comments as you want. Just make sure they're all nice, positive things, kind of interactions with what we're yeah. talking about, and interactions with other people there on SoundCloud. All right. At the top of all this, I promised a game that was to be a surprise. I still don't know what to my my co-podcasters. Last week we had the ever so successful Keanu or Keanu. Mm-hmm. This week, in vain, in the same vein. Oh gosh, I've got a new game called. Did you read it? Cruise or snooze? Ooh. Cruise or snooze? Word or please? I like oh. it. <laughs> so <laughs> let me set this Tom up. Tom Cruise or Tom snooze? That's it. Okay. So I, let me set this up for you. Set uh, the parameters. More he like started Tommy snooze in 1981 with Endless Love. Taps was his breakout role the same year, and then he's gone all the way to a Mission Impossible series that's getting two more installments of in 2021 and 2022. Yeah, he's credited for 49 films as an actor, which honestly I thought would have been yeah, I thought, thought it would have been, been more like 100, like yeah. Keanu, right? Um, on the same actor, level, man. clearly. Yeah, well, I think Tommy gets the bigger bucks these days, but uh, I don't know. I enjoy I both know. their films. I don't know. Tommy from the room. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why so? No, definitely not Tommy Wiseau. So, Tommy Wiseau, come on our podcast. Should we do a time Ooh. Tommy Wiseau game? You know, you know he would join us. Yeah, it's all be, the room. He would, he would absolutely. Amazing. You're killing me. <laughs> well, I'll be ready to do that when he's here. I feel like we could get him to do oh, that. Oh, I think so. Tommy but Wiseau, join the fun cast challenge. But we may not be able to get him to leave. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Get out. Could he have like him. a residency on the podcast for like... He's a good guy. We need an audio episodes. engineer. I feel like yeah. um, I feel like Brian would come in and be like, "Why is Tommy Wiseau in our cafe?" <laughs> be like, "Please, For years. please, we can't no, get him to leave." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so setting up the game. He's gonna hear it. Uh, oh, we're gonna do four rounds like Are last week. Welcome. I'm gonna oh, spin anytime. the wheel, anytime. see who starts each round. Let's do this. Right. And I'm gonna give you a movie. You got to tell me if it gets a passing grade on Rotten Tomatoes, meaning seventy okay. percent or over, meaning cruise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you get that right, you get a point. Okay. If you get within five points of the actual score, you get a bonus point. Okay. And if you get it exactly right, you get five bonus points. Okay. No one has done that yet. In all one time, <laughs> we, we played this game. one in 100 shot. Yes. There was a legend about one person getting it that, back th- in 1979. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Back when this game first Paso, originated. Texas. <laughs> uh, for and round one, yeah. we're going to start with Dima. Ooh, talk to me. All your right. Lips. <clears throat> what? Are you ready, sir? What, yes. What'd you say? What about? did you just cherry lips? Cherry lips? <laughs> so Sully, what you got over there? <laughs> <laughs> Movie number one for you, Dima. Mission yes. Impossible, the first one. So do I have to guess pass or not pass? Yes, that's your first. Of course, pass. I'm sorry, you're wrong, sir. What? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> this is an wrong. What, what is the passing grade again? 70, 70, 70 or over. Mission Impossible got it's 63%. It's the first one. It hadn't caught on yet. Really? 63%? That's a shame. <laughs> Wait, Charlie, I have to ask you, have any of these passed? Don't talk whoa, about whoa, whoa. Squeaker's yes. Son like that. Okay. okay. Some of the films <laughs> across right. the four rounds have passed. Oh, Squeaker's Son, for shame. Wow. For shame. I don't know that. Okay, <laughs> Hillary, that makes yep. you second in round one, and the movie is Top Gun. Pass. No. Wow. <laughs> I was you, very you surprised by this. Take a second to sing Dangers. Wait, now, do I get to... Um, nah, right. only if you get it right. <laughs> oh, I don't get to pick the percentage if I get it wrong. No, sorry. What? Can you still do it just for fun? If, if you'd you like to, yes, sure. Um, so you know 62%. It's... 
No. 54%. You got to take it now. It wasn't that great of a film. Really? They're going to make a sequel. <laughs> All right. Cameron. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Pass. Oh. You are correct. Gosh, so that's sure. one point. What percentage he did it get? He was in that movie, I, wasn't I, he? I think it probably got yeah. like an 81. Oh, oh, my God, folks. First time he got it on the nose. <gasps> Six That's points for Cam. Leader. That means you automatically win. Wow. The game is over. What yeah. made you pick that number? Well, see... I know two things in this world, and that's pretzels. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm a simple pretzel man. And I had 81 pretzels for breakfast. And I had so. about 81. But when I watched that movie, I had 81 pretzels, and that's always stuck with me. This is, this is basically Slumdog Millionaire. At this well, point. that's amazing. Just don't beat me up in the bathroom, Ashley. You get a chance. Like in Slumdog to tie Millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Thank you. Slum Dunder well Millionaire. <laughs> Slum Dunder <laughs> Oh, my <Mifflin> God. <laughs> Slum Dunder Mifflin Ashley. <laughs> yes, sir. Jerry Maguire. That's a pass. Correct. What percentage did he get? 84. Oh, my God. So close. 83%. Oh, <laughs> you get two points. <laughs> How mad are you right now? Slightly. Okay. <laughs> That's wow. <not> appropriate. <laughs> Sli- slightly. <laughs> slightly. 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 <laughs> cheat and look at the paper? <laughs> I didn't. I'm just kidding. Or oh. you would have got it right. I don't know. Show us the paper so we can see if we've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> what Hillary said. Yeah. Round two. Nope. Rigged. Rigged. Ugh, the worst part about a game. Rigged. That- nope. Rigged. <laughs> Gonna do it three times Shaker in a row. like a soul shaker. Dima. What's up? Dima. <laughs> Las Vegas. Really mixing things up <laughs> the round two for you here. Yes. Mission Impossible 2. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it's pass. Still wrong. You are. <laughs> Those are not good movies. What? Especially not the first two. Dang. Apparently. Uh, but what did it? Okay. Do you, you want to guess what it was? John Woo, right? What? John Woo did it. Second one, right? He did. Yeah. 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 It should be a hundred percent. It is not. Just from that alone. No. It is. Just uh, It was. 57%. It went down from the first <laughs> <It went> one. <laughs> <laughs> My brother would give that a zero. All right, Hillary. Yep. Oblivion. <sighs> Oblivion. Which came out, what, like three, four years ago? Hmm. That's uh, Oblivion. Which one is that? I'm confused because all I can think of is living in Oblivion, which is, he's definitely not in, and a really great film. He was uh, an, uh, a pilot of some kind. Uh, no lived way. in a weird building out on a, on a planet by himself. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's <laughs> a, a sci-fi pool. movie. It's a sci-fi yeah. movie where it's him and his wife out in the building, and he finds like, a second copy of himself. Yep. What? I feel like... It's like, it's like Minimal Castaway. There. It's like yeah. There. <laughs> it was Ashley's just, giving you a thumbs sci-fi down. Sci-fi Castaway. We did not like it. No, we did not like it, I don't think. I'm going to say it did not pass. Correct. Yeah. What number you got? I'm going to say um, 43%. Oh, 53. So you do get one point. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's like a puppy got loose in here. <laughs> Release the victory puppy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cameron. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one, I was hoping this one would go to Dima. Oh, okay. Weird thing to say, but <laughs> yes. all right. War of the Worlds. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. That yes. Be Ooh, that would be mm-hmm. that's good. Yeah. Uh, pass or no? <laughs> How about like right in the middle? Like I it passed like, in yeah, that's like Ashley's like a... playing the audience of the prices uh, right over yeah. here. Yeah. I think it probably passed. You're correct. What number would you give it to? But sir? it got like a 73. He's going for a perf. Oh, my God. So close. Really? 75. No, you almost did two rounds in Cameron. a row. Burn the witch. Cameron, did you have 73 Burn pretzels? I just heard floating. Like, like comes out of my <laughs> <Yes>. eyes. <laughs> like, I've, I've read the secret texts. Of and Tom this is Cruise's. the only... This is right. the only time you decided to use your power. This is it's like I use it once a millennia, and I'm like, I'll just I'll blow their minds on cruise or snakes. Sure, the next one thousand years will be kind of a drag, but hey, Ashley, worth it, sir. Days of Thunder. I don't even know what that is. You've no, never seen the I. the car racing movie? Oh, that our, sounds like our good friend noise. Michael Rooker is in it as well. I'm going to say it did not pass. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> you could not be more correct. Uh, what, what number? Sixty. 
Oh, sorry, thirty nine. Oh, yep, I was right. Ooh, <laughs> yep, yep, Hillary got that one right it on the nose. Sounded like a dumper. So, <laughs> <laughs> see, that's what I said. That's a great movie. Uh, <laughs> Is it because it's about cars racing? Quick score update. Is it cars four? <laughs> Brought to you by the giant wheel. What Dima. is that? The sponsor. <laughs> the sponsor. Wait, sponsor. the giant wheel. Before, Brought to you by Sully's River Boat Casino. Sully, oh, Sully, would Sully's you, River Boat Casino. Sully, yeah. would you watch a Cars and yes, 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 yes. like a Tokyo Drift, but with Cars? God, yes. Would you watch Cars only if voiced by, by the, the Tokyo act- Drift cast? Oh. Like voiced by? Yes. Okay. Lucas Black. I mean, he's busy with uh, NCIS New Orleans. But well, we should make this happen. I think he'll clear his schedule. He could find this. some time. Yeah. All right. So after round one uh, and two, Dima zero, Hillary yeah. one, Cameron eight. Yeah. I don't oh, know what what's up, guys? <laughs> Cheater. And Ashley added, nipping at his heels with three. <laughs> nipping <laughs> <Just> three. <laughs> I should at least have six. All right. <laughs> Round three starts with... <laughs> I should at least have six. Oh, Spin it again. Nope. Rigged. Round three starts with... Super rigged. Spin it again. Good lord. <laughs> Spin it again. <laughs> the next 30 minutes is just Today is arm spinning. day. Ashley. <laughs> yep. That's me. Ashley. <laughs> Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Oh, I love pass. that one. You what? say what? Oh, it, it passed. passed. I bet it passed. It definitely passed. Couldn't be more wrong. Ah, <gasps> uh, because it's the best one. It's got Actually, ghosts. you're wrong. I'm wrong? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Oh, you're wrong. Can I give you a number? Sure, just for fun. 77. No, 93%. Oh, 93? I was way off. I'm Wait, I said, it, pa- I said it would bias. pass. Yeah, you said it passed and it's the best one, but that's not true. According to what? silly law. Just remember what I said. What? Whoa. Just remember. I'm so confused. What Sully said. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dima. What's up? The Mummy. Oh, I did not watch it. That's a no. No, actually, we went to the theater yeah. and you walked out and I watched the rest of it. I watched did a date like movie it? by myself. Did you like it? Um, It made me really, really want to watch the Brendan Fraser one. I was <laughs> so good. It yeah. So good. Pass, then. You are correct. And what number would you give it? Like 10. I heard it was all right. <laughs> Ten. So I'd say. I heard it was awful. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Thirty-four. Fifteen percent. Oh, I said ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still didn't win. It's still wrong. But it's the cl- it's closer. Yeah. You know what? Game of close. Without going over. You can't actually. W- well, I guess you can. Win. I would imagine the Brendan Fraser movie's got a nice bump when that oh, one came yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we could do the next time? Suggestion to uh, change the rules. Yes, sir. For future. <laughs> What number we say, and you subtract that from the actual score, you get the amount of points. Oh, and oh then you want the lowest I amount. like this. Yeah. This is good adjustment. All right. Yeah, mm. That way it's more of a balance. Huh? Wrong. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, hey, we're fine tuning this, this little baby. Around to Hillary. Yep. Minority report. Pass. It did. And what number mm. would you give it? I'm going to say um, 87. Oh, you get a bonus point. 90, 91. This is what I got. 91. Nice. So you got within five. Wow. Nicely done. So watch out, guys. Here comes Hillary. To show up here. Cam. How many rounds are we doing here? Four. Four. Okay. So this is the third 80, round. 82 How rounds. How many pretzels? All right. 81. Cameron. <laughs> Legend. <gasps> oh. Oh. What? <laughs> I love that movie. Pass or no? I don't think I've seen them. He's, he's the one with the unicorns. Yeah. and um, I definitely have not seen Legend. And uh, what's his name is the devil. Oh, Tim Curry? Tim Curry. Really? Double, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, in my heart, I want to give Tim Curry the pass, but I know it failed. It did not fail. It failed. You're going with fail? I'm going with fail. It did fail. What it number did, did it fail. get? I want to give that like a 56. Oh, 42%. All right. So you still got one point. All right. I'll take the universal that. Universal number. All right. Update from <laughs> Sully's Robo <Rubo> Casino. <laughs> d <D-Mode> one. <laughs> Hillary at three. Cam crushing the competition with nine. Ashley, three. Yep. What, what was my score again? One. One? I'll come one? Around. What? I'll come around. I'm a sleeper. All right, final oh, yeah. round. I'm a shark. team has got us right got where you, he wants us. Yeah. Cameron. Oof, pressure's on. I feel nothing but pressure. I don't think there's any way for any of us to beat him. Well, I, no. have, no. I have. We've got to unite. I do have a bonus You're round. You're underestimating Sully's Riverboat Casino. Oh, I, yes. do, I do Sully's have a bonus round. Sully's Riverboat Casino. I'm going to be in the brig no matter what. Can we unite? <laughs> <laughs> Take it to the brig. Cameron. Yeah. From the window. From the wall. <laughs> Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Mm. Oh, I never saw that one. Yeah, that sounds completely made up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Rogue that's even. Nation I don't think one. it's not Renner even a movie. Appreciate it's that. Not even a movie. No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I think I did see part of that one. Um, it passed. 
It did? And yeah. what number would you give it? A strong 74. Got 93%. Wow. Well, all right. <laughs> What, wait, did you say Jeremy Renner's in there? Yes. Mm. in while doing a stunt? Uh, yeah. No. That was a different one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, I think he just hurts himself in all of the films, it's, doesn't he? Yeah. It's for marketing. Yeah. Ashley. <laughs> Jack Reacher. <laughs> Jack Reacher. <laughs> Your face right now. What is that? <laughs> Jack Reacher is That's where no. he hunts somebody down to avenge his wife, I assume? Close. <laughs> Correct. Was uh, it it did he, not pass. What pilot? number would you give it? 52. <gasps> 63. It sounds hmm. like an insult. What? Jack. I was a Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher? <laughs> yeah. Where's Eyed Wide Shut? <gasps> Ooh. I did not put it on the list. What? Mm-hmm. I don't know the number either, don't I? <laughs> no, give me something good. So Are you ready? Give <laughs> 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 something good. Baby, baby. What you got for me? <laughs> Vanilla Sky. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fantastic film. Yes. I've never seen this movie. What? Is he a pilot oh. in that one? <laughs> I bet you it's this a is sci-fi a thumb thriller. Up. It's okay. be a, this well, is a thumb up. Set in yeah, the is, in the distant past. What? <laughs> I, I don't you never saw any you would like, about it. You, you would like Vanilla Sky. Vanilla Sky. <laughs> I okay. okay. Yeah. I like it's share. A, I'm giving eighty seven percent pass. How dare you? Uh, no, sir. Got a low low forty two. What? Oh, what? Got Obviously, that. people Bro, liars. Films. Liars. <laughs> You're all against me. Hillary. I like that <laughs> yes. Risky business. Pass. Whoa. Yes. <gasps> and what number would you give it? Oh, what number would I give it? Um, I'm going to say 91. Oh, you got the bonus point. 96. It's a good movie. Okay. But before we quit, <laughs> I do have a bonus round. Yeah. So, Are you ready? Yeah, okay. So, ready. so right now it's Dima 1, yeah, Hillary 5, Cam at 10, and Ashley Ooh. at 4. But Ooh. I've got you a, a chance to win 10 points. Okay. Ooh. I thought I got Gosh. another point in that last round. Rules. Yep. No, I wrote this in beforehand. I'm not making it up on the fly. Casino. If you can give me the highest rated film, which I have not listed, okay. or the lowest rated film, Ooh. which is not listed, it's worth 10 points. So you each get one guess at one of those two, highest or and lowest. It, and we haven't talked about it yet? I have not mentioned it. It was not one of the clues. I'm gonna be that wheel horrible hates me. Right? I don't even. What other movies has he been? Yeah, in? I don't know what else he's been in. Ashley is first. Uh, I think <laughs> that says Cameron. Oh, that's Cameron. I'm sorry. Oh. It was at an angle. Rigged. <laughs> Highest or lowest, oh, Cameron? I don't even think I know another Tom Cruise movie really. Oh, I mean, I'll say it, but it's. I don't think it's either. What one. you got? Edge of Tomorrow. No. All right. Sorry, sir. Great. That's, great that's movie though. First one that came to mind. I love that one. I love that movie. It's Ashley. so good. Did we say Jerry Maguire? Uh, no. I did. Yes, that was in round one. Oh. And actually, you're the one that guessed it. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, know what happens today? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what in Rome? <laughs> I can't even think of another Tom Cruise movie. Was he in like a? Can I help? I don't know. Really, yeah. I mean, okay. Phone a friend. Like, was he in like a war movie or something that would have given him like a pretty crazy high? Wait, didn't we? We already. S- War of the Worlds, wasn't it? Was that what that it was? one? That yeah, one was said. Was he ever like a general or something? I feel like there was like, like in a, a Saving Private Ryan kind of yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Valkyrie. He, he, he was in a movie called Valkyrie. Oh, yeah. um, but like the that fact was that I just said it out loud means it's not the answer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I fold. Okay. All right. Too rich for my blood. We'll go with collateral. Oh, good movie, but no, not highest or lowest. I don't know what name it is, but I'm going to say it's a Mission Impossible movie. You got to give me the name. <gasps> I don't know any um, others besides Ghost Protocol. Say it, say it, no. it, was, it was a good guess. Say not worth any points, though. His, uh, his oh. lowest film from yeah. 1988, and this one really surprised me, is Cocktail. Oh. Only got 5%. Damn. Uh, <laughs> that was one of the first soundtracks I bought. It was good. He was yeah. a mixologist. Mm-hmm. And How the, old were you when you bought that? <laughs> I was like, well, my parents bought it for me. I was like eight. Uh, here's the cocktail That soundtrack. seems like yes. Yes. <laughs> That is something huh. my parents I thought did. it was about a parrot. I really liked that soundtrack. And the highest rated film all time was the recent Mission Impossible Fallout. See, I don't remember uh, all of the Superman. names. I only remember the names oh, of the ones I've seen. Oh, where he like uh, reloads that's his fist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 97%. Yeah, that's one where he broke his it was a leg breaker. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a leg breaker. Nice. Yeah, and as y'all pointed uh, out, I left off break. Eyes Wide Shut. I like that movie. I sure, I left off it. quite a few. All right, so uh, our winner, Cameron, just... Just smashed, just killed destroyer. it. You destroyed. He goes on vacation and I, gets all this knowledge. You think I was on vacation. But you were really just watching Tom Cruise movies. I was doing Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise, doing Tom Tom Cruise flashcards of his uh, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. Will you do this game with Arnold? Ooh. 
Arnold or Arno? Arnold or Arno? Arnold or Arno? I'll see. Maybe. I'm into it. I'll All right. Arnold or Arno. So that was our game for the week. Brought to you by Sully's River Books. I like it. Sully's River Books. And now on to what you got, Ashley. What you got with some some reveals or exclusives? Well, not a lot of reveals because uh, I don't know if anyone's seen, but we kind of tapped out a lot of reveals there. But I do have a few things to talk about. At Walmart, you can get the WWE Pocket Pop keychain, PPK, and DVD set. There's The Rock. There's John Cena. Undertaker, Macho Man, and a couple others. Head over to Walmart and walmart.com to pick that up. Um, On Funko Shop, we announced Agent J, which is still available if you want to collect uh, him for your Men in Black collection. And then uh, Target Con launched last Friday. There's still some hot items on there. Uh, Spicy meatballs. A 10-inch Jack-Jack, a 10-inch Hedwig from the... Cat Potter films and a DC <sighs> Bombshells box are still cool. available. So, uh, Cat Potter. Like, Cat Potter. Cat Potter. I saw a lot Don't of photos from fans. Do you want a 10 inch Hedwig? Yeah. He looks good in person. You know, we should make a Crookshanks. Mm-hmm. If we mm-hmm. can now make a 10 inch cat, Crook then you. Shanks. Who's that? <sighs> Have the whole series. Yeah, right that'd be great. Wait, wait, you look like Julius Cat. I know it would just be Julie Bove's cat. Can we just make Julie Bove's cat as a well, ten inch pop. That's what we should do, and we we'll just name it Crookshanks. Yeah, <laughs> we'll call it Project Crookshanks. Yep, that's its working title. All right. And also, our ECC reveals are fairly new, so if you're not familiar with those, head to the blog, check them out. That's a good point. We did the live earlier today. You ladies did, and uh, did. like every other question was, where will these be shared? Where can I get them? And Almost. all that. Every exclusive is shared, so uh, head to the blog and you can see where. And I think most retailers drop on the 15th. I'm sure there's still some people on Instagram sharing those charts, too, that show oh, you Oh, yeah. All. I haven't yeah. seen as many now that we give that info away as we reveal yeah. them, but mm-hmm. I'm sure some people are still Still a nice there. visual, though. Maybe we mm-hmm. should make one. Hmm. Yeah. Food cool. for thought. Yeah. Hmm. Just a thought. Job How rate. about <laughs> videos? Videos, you say? Videos, you say? <laughs> videos? You want them? We got them on our award-winning YouTube channel. Um, first up, we have the Funcast. You heard it. Us talking in your ear on YouTube. Screaming. No video, just audio. Screaming just us. to the void. Just us to screaming. So check it out, Funcast 101. <laughs> we are now on YouTube. <laughs> If that is where you like to listen to music, I know a lot of people use YouTube for music. So I do. Check when I'm at out my desk. Funcast. Um, we also have the Emerald City Comic Con reveals. Um, we have 360s of half of our um, reveals, and there will be a video coming out with the other half mm-hmm. soon once we get all of the just samples. Right down. And uh, we also have some of those videos that just show um, the images from the Blitz announcement that Ashley has already posted so you can see them in video form we also have an interview with brian mariotti who is our ceo funko ceo at toy fair new york 2019 talking about what he's looking forward to in 2019 it's pop down (laughs) oh that's what he talks (laughs) about spoiler yeah pop down we also started a new series funko women of power um video series where we have been interviewing different women who work at Funko. And the first one up was Bianca from the uh, Burbank office. She works in licensing. So if you want to hear more about her job, check out that interview with Bianca. We also have a Captain Marvel video where Dima has created a really cool 3D animation of Captain Marvel with some very cool signs. Noise. Some neon lights, some lights, some action, some glamour. So if you want to see all of those videos and many, 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 many more, check out our YouTube channel, Funko.com. Or, nope, that's not it at all. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to check out our YouTube channel, it's YouTube.com slash Original Funko. And be sure to subscribe. Nice. But you can also go to Funko.com if you want. You yeah. just won't find YouTube videos there. But just check it out. Yeah. But just check it out for you, fun. Explore the space. We're not that busy. Yeah, go right? there. Check it out. Then go to YouTube. Yeah. Go to both. Have two tabs open. Whoa. Yeah. whoa, whoa Treat yourself. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Treat yourself <laughs> <laughs> with tabs. We might do more live stuff further in the future. Yeah. So we started doing sort of a weekly live video mm-hmm. on YouTube. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have more coming up. There's some exciting new things that might come up over there. We'll Maybe from Emerald workers. City Comic Con. Maybe. We'll see. If we let yeah. him talk long enough, he might just tell us. Yeah. I can't. No. 
is going to be about <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting for a hot second all right it's now time for cooster we're so last we are <laughs> We are. We are. We are. Cameron. What's up? Up first. Um, cool thing I saw last week is Pokemon Sword and Shield are coming out later this year. Already pre ordered my copy. Wow. Nice. What uh, platform? Uh, it's on the Switch, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, just Sully, now that you're a Pokemon trainer, are you going to get this game? Uh, I I doubt it. Sir. I mean, which one are you gonna get? Is what I meant. To uh, I have, sword or shield. I have get sword. We'll get we'll get to Pokemon Sword and we'll just play all the time. Do Sounds it. great. Do Come on, I man. have Ola Pokemon on my Switch now. You got what? What was the one we played last week? Let's what? <laughs> Ola. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just blanked on what the name was. Yeah, the one we played in the live last week. I have oh, on yeah. my Switch. And, oh uh, yeah. I don't know. I might fire it up. You have you have a badge. You got a nice little team going. You're all prepped. You're in a good start. Yeah. Yeah. You got some money. You started naming got some, some of those. Money. I got a Whataburger on yeah, the team. Yeah, you immediately named your Pikachu Whataburger. <laughs> can you hey. eat Pokemons? Well, uh, there's some no, you can't. There. You yeah. can't. Well, I mean, okay, so in the game, it's not an option to eat them. Right, but in real life. In real life, yes. Okay. Yes. Would you be a monster like when Voldemort drinks yeah. the unicorn blood? Yeah, yeah like, like it's not great to do that. Yeah. He's a, he's a cat. But, I've read about or an him. Owl. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you're getting pokemon shield and sword shield i'm going shield baby oh all so you have to defense. pick one of those yeah it's the so it's like red and blue black and white sword and shield what's the difference between the two games some of them they'll like do a whole set of like new pokemon and then they'll do like one is only available in sword and one is only available in shield so That's that you, way to you, do that? So that you trade genius. with people yeah mm-hmm. so if you want to be complete you gotta if you drop 120 bones. bones they don't do it in a way where you can't complete the game or anything but they do it in a way that you have to be somewhat like social in order to actually complete your pokedex uh, it's really uh, smart it's been around since the trickery OG. since the beginning of time and actually some pokemon only evolve if they're traded oh wow nice. that's an that's interesting cool. twist yeah so, forces you. so you guys yeah. get on board so we can <laughs> trade come on everyone Ashley, what's Sully you only? Uh, oh this past Sully weekend, I downloaded this game called The Gardens Between on Switch, which is kind of like this puzzle interaction type game. I feel like Hillary would actually really like this, mm. where you're these two best friends that are on like an island, and there's like a bunch of crap in your way that you have to get <laughs> to the top, <laughs> and you have to like go forward <laughs> and like do this puzzle, and then kind of go backwards to go past that point. So it's kind of, I don't know, it was kind of therapeutic. I guess. That was like, in a trance. We need to get you to give more reviews on stuff. That felt like a definitely an Ashley review. <laughs> There's a bunch of crap you gotta go through. <laughs> well, you liked my review on Harry Potter so far. That was so. genius. <laughs> Are there cats or owls in the gardens between? Is that uh, yeah. Um, not that I've seen yet. Mm. So. They're in there. Yes. Just I got stuck on a level harder. last night, and then I switched to Tetris, where I just mm. zoned out for like three hours. <laughs> and uh, now I'm here at work. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> she just woke up here. She has no idea. She's doing okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. Dima, what you got? Well, What's your cool actually, stuff? The cool stuff. Well, that my, I, watch. I, I my watch. You talk about your workouts? Mine was actually about cool stuff I read last week. Oh, oh. an intellectual. Intellectual. Think you're better uh, than us? Yeah. No. That's the vibe I was Yeah, getting. me too. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a, a funny article that I read. Uh, it's about how couples have secrets from each other. And oh how my it's gosh. And it's hilarious. So, I want to tell you. Warning, warning, warning. This is gross. It's it's about a man and a woman who live together for a while. And uh, a man started noticing that his socks started disappearing. Clean socks were in the drawer (laughs) and they go out way too fast. He was like, what is happening? Where are my socks? Uh, His girlfriend (laughs) said, she'll do the laundry. No worry about it. You know, we'll we'll get everything going, get more socks, you know, whatever. Uh, He went... Like some after some time, he went to uh, find more socks. He was like, it was he was completely out. So I'm like, he, I have to have some clean socks. So he goes to pick up dirty socks, and he noticed that there's some poops on the sock. And uh, he was like, what is happening? This is so weird. He confronts his girlfriend, saying, "Why is there a poop on my socks? Like all of your socks? Oh, like on all of my socks? Why is there poop?" She says. <laughs> <laughs> She confesses. She confessed to him. She said that she is a huge germaphobe and she has a fear of 
when she uses toilet paper after going number two, she w- she has a fear of ripping the paper and putting some poop in her fingers. So instead, she, she used was, socks. She oh, that's when you break up with a person. <laughs> she put oh, yeah. The sock that's a on deal breaker. Like Charmin wipes, girl. <laughs> God, what is that in Deadpool 2 when Cable comes back from the future and there are those two guys sitting on the back of the truck and he's like, what you got here is your appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> that was like my favorite and part that's of not that even, And if you can get a blow dry on that, that's Matt so Damon. She literally put yeah. a sock <laughs> on her hand. Yes. That's amazing. To use it. That's so, okay, and so obviously Obviously, she wasn't flushing them, so she was just putting them in the trash. And that's no, she was, no, she, she was she was washing them, but she was, she was washing them in a washer. And notice she didn't use her own socks. No, she no, didn't. Have the reason gross. why she used her socks is because yeah. she lived down in a lay area and she always wore sandals, so she doesn't have as many socks. And that's she when you're like more out. So she's so when she's like dating a guy, she's like, "How many socks do you got?" Yeah, wow, that <laughs> so sounds like a lot of socks. Do you think she judges socks. them on why, their foot size? Why didn't Maybe. she just buy poop socks? Like, oh, he's an eight. Won't do. <laughs> For coverage. <laughs> so that's a thing I read last oh, week. Send us that article. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so disturbing. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm taking mine in a very different direction. I'm going back to gaming. I uh, I finally... <laughs> I wanted to get Crackdown 3, and I found out that you can get the uh, Xbox Game Pass for a dollar for the first month. So, paid the dollar, downloaded the whole game, but I played through the weekend, uh, logged a good six hours already. You get to play as Terry Crews. Ooh. That's not his name in the game, but it's him. The face is exactly like him. Mm. And if no one's ever played the Crackdown series, it's kind of, it's open world, like Grand Theft Auto, uh, but you start off as like a low-level uh, police officer in the future, and the more people you take out... The more time you drive, the more things you explode, you get these orbs and you build up. So every so often your guy does like this power move where he levels up to one, two, three, four, five, I think all the way to 10. Hmm. And that's when, when you get to 10, you can jump over buildings and throw (laughs) bridges and like right now I can only throw cars. Mm. At level four. I'm weak. Weak, yeah. <laughs> weak, uh, baby. <laughs> there's some amazing guns in this game. I got one right now that shoots this one little green dot all the way across and just infects the person <laughs> and then kills them over a few seconds. <laughs> I got a rocket launcher. I got one that hones in on like 10 things if you hold down the trigger and then explodes them all at once. It's open world? Oh, open world. Yeah, they start off in this, uh, they kind of keep you closed in the story for the first yeah. 10 minutes, mm-hmm. and then they open it up, and you literally can do the missions in any order you want. Mm-hmm. You can go try the really tough ones without having the levels up, uh, which game, I made yeah. the mistake of doing and died a few times. Uh, but I love the first two games. I beat them both. I never completed them. I didn't get all the orbs, because there's like a thousand you can get across the map, some oh insane God. number like that. Is the map huge? Map is quite large. Yeah. Is it just like GTA? Like, like Vice City. Vice City. Okay. Yeah. About that hmm. size, I think. But it's a great game. I love the series, and the addition of Terry Crews is very cool. So, <laughs> pro tip: uh, if you haven't got that Xbox Game Pass, a dollar, a buck, a buck, an one hour dollar. Of and then it's only nine ninety nine a month after that. But you get all these whoa, other whoa, games whoa, you get whoa, access whoa. to. Hold you on. Did not, I right. did not commit to this. I'm not getting. A, I'm not getting a kickback here. I'm it's just, just like an ad. Yeah. <laughs> pro tip. Hmm. Product. Okay. Product. So there is a book series that I recently started reading, and there are three books in the series. The third one just came out, so I'm really excited to read it because I'm now caught up. But it's called The Guild Codex is the name of the series, and the first book is called Three Mages and a Margarita. Nice. The second is called Dark Arts and a Daiquiri, and the third that just came out is called Two Witches and a Whiskey. I sense it. It's really awesome. It's about a... um, there, she's a human, but she discovers that there's a world of magic, mm-hmm. and she becomes the bartender for a magic guild, not knowing that they didn't know she wasn't a magic person because mm. they were like, how could you find this place? And she didn't realize that magic was real, but, you know, things happen, and yeah. she helps them with their missions as a human and is friends with the entire guild. It's very cool. Yeah, Who well, is the author? The author is... Um, Annette Marie. Huh. Uh, there was a TV show or series that Felicia Day did. Yeah. Called The Guild, and her character oh, name no. was Codex. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. But also, shout out to uh, Chris Ducart, <laughs> because I get on this, and I found this book series because I... There's another book series that I that I listened to on Audible, and I really like Chris Ducart as the narrator, and so it suggested all of these other books that she narrated, and then I ended up picking books based on the narrator. 
Ooh, like I just found out the that there is a book about dueling circuses and it's read by the same person who narrated the Harry Potter books. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You heard me. Never heard of it. Dueling circuses. We need it's to It's called know the more. Night Circus. Can you investigate and bring that as your cool thing next week? Oh, yeah, I've already started reading it. The dueling circuses? Yeah. Oh, it's on my it's on my account right now. It's hard Bring though it. because with that with that voice actor, some of like one of the guys is obviously Hagrid. <laughs> like he kind of reuses <laughs> right, the right. same voices, so it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> All right, that was cool stuff we saw last week, and that just means there's one more section left. BDJs. <gasps> BDJs. Making Papa laugh. Got some bad dad jokes to take <laughs> y'all on out of here. Sent in from our friends, from our fans. First up from Apollo Seventeen. NASA sending in jokes. Apollo 17, the last mission on the moon. Why is the Leaning Tower of Pisa still standing? Um, it, no. Because if it didn't, it would be the I fell tower. Oh, whoa, geography. <laughs> That's a much better response than the normal. All right, from Robert Vadas. Did you hear about the guy whose whole left side was cut off? He was all right. Nailed it. Nice. Wow. I was going to say he was half a man. <laughs> he was a freak. <laughs> I what? love the word freak. <laughs> freak. I do. Shout out to the movie Freak what? Show. You need to do like a top five words because I feel like it's that and trash. Yeah. Trash. Oh, and shit. potato. I like potatoes potato. up yes. there. Uh-huh. What was Robert E. Lee voted in high school? Most likely to secede. Two for two. Did you That's write right. these? I think he stole my notes. Am I a dad? Are you a dad? <laughs> oh, oh, you better, uh, you better make a call. Can I adopt you so I have grandchildren? <laughs> so, sorry. What if that was like the <laughs> way you found out? <laughs> bad like, dad jokes like, like, all over your apartment. And you like, like I'm never gonna remember these. And you la- and you laugh at them and you know the punchline like, to every oh, single it's one. It's happened. Look down, I'm wearing like the, the dad shoes. Like, I'm wearing air monarchs. Yeah, all of a sudden like, they just appear on your feet and you're wearing like sweatpants to the grocery store. How are these already grass stained? <laughs> oh man. A polo shirt with half. It's the in. kids that are wrong. <laughs> I accidentally went to bed with my contact lenses in the other night. My dreams have never been clearer. Hmm. That's not how that works. Usually yeah. get eye infection. Um, Usually they get crusty. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> just burned 2,000 calories. That's the last time I leave brownies in the oven while I nap. Nice. <laughs> oh, that one got an authentic true. laugh. Damn. It's true. <laughs> it's tr- true. What true. did E.T.'s mother say to him when he got home? Who's? E.T. E.T. Oh. You didn't phone home. <laughs> Where on earth have you been? Nice. <laughs> wow. Nice. Noise. Where'd you nice. get that red hoodie? Oh, nice. Like it. Where'd you get that red hoodie? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in a basket? From, <laughs> like M&M's now? <laughs> from Clint Crockett. As I suspected, someone has been adding soil to my garden. The plot thickens. Mm. Oh. What, my plants? <laughs> what, my plants? <laughs> yes, put a little boogie in it. From <laughs> David Vu. What gifts does a dentist get? A whole lot of plaques. Mm. Mm. No one wants that. <laughs> And then from Yasmin, we got a nice list here. Uh, some Harry Potter jokes for Cameron and Hillary. Oh, thank you! Thank you. Wow! Thank oh you. my God! No go. way! Wow! Why, oh. why does Voldemort prefer Twitter to Facebook? Because he only has followers, not friends. Oh, that's true. That's I don't dark. know. Is that funny? That's dark. Oh. Ha 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 ha. How do That's how Voldemort would laugh if oh. he laughed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if he but it would be laughed. more nasally. He does not laugh because he doesn't have a nose. How do the Malfoys enter a building? Annoyingly, mm-hmm. I assume. They slither but, in. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I do get that one. <laughs> As she's and? so proud of herself. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Professor Snape stand in the middle of the road? He's kind of a jerk. So you'll never know what side he is on. <gasps> nice. See? That could be a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Always. Neville use two bathroom stalls? Why does who? Neville. Neville. Why does Neville 
Use two a long, long bottom. bottom. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, those are great. <laughs> that seems like okay. <laughs> Why does Neville get it? It's not a short story. Wait. Whoa. Wait, so where are you going? <laughs> He's gone. So, so he pretends out. to walk downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> <laughs> He's disappearing. He's right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> All right, <laughs> that does it for another wacky episode of the Funko Funcast. I don't think I have anything to add, you guys. No. Two more, sh- one more recording, one more right? Show. One more, one then more then recording and before, and then Emerald it's another City live Comic-Con. baby. Yeah. We're gonna be blessed with two. Woody Woody. Well, well, that means we can get to two hundred by the end of the month, right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Got yeah. It. One podcast. The math check. One out. minute episodes. Dima, fire up the intros. All, All right. right, ready to get out of here. You guys set? Yep, In let's three, do this thing. Two, one. Got Keep it. Keep it. Keep it.